वेलकम टू माई चैनल कुक एंड बेक विद वी शेटी टूडेज रेसिपी इज अ रिफ्रेशिंग एंड अ ग्रेट समर टाइम हेल्दी अपटाइजर वियतनामीज वेजी स्प्रिंग रोल्स अलॉन्ग विद द स्प्रिंग रोल रेसिपी आई वी ऑल्सो शोइंग टू ऑफ माई फैमिलीज फेवरेट डिपिंग सॉसेस यूज विद दीज रोल्स first will be the recipe for dipping sauces peanut dipping sauce which is a delicious creamy sauce slightly spicy and slightly sweet i've taken around 2 to 3 tablespoons of peanut butter to that i'm adding half to 1 teaspoon of homemade sambal and 1/4 teaspoon of salt sambal is a popular malaysian condiment it's a kind of red chili paste Uh, for the recipe you can click the link above next i'm adding 2 teaspoons of soya sauce and 2 teaspoons of apple cider vinegar if you don't have apple cider vinegar you can replace with white vinegar as well then 1 teaspoon of honey so the peanut butter which i'm using it's a pure peanut butter with no oil no salt and no added uh, sugar if your peanut butter has added sugar please omit adding uh, your honey but i recommend to use a pure peanut butter with no oil no added sugar or, and no salt then thin the sauce by adding little bit of water to the consistency you desire adding around 1 teaspoon of olive oil so instead of uh, sambal you can uh, replace that with uh, any red chili paste or red chili sauce or even red curry paste so once you have added all the ingredients whisk it well creamy peanut dipping sauce is ready Next, sweet, sour, and spicy sauce. For this, I have taken a teaspoon of minced garlic, one fourth to half teaspoon of dried chili flakes. So I am using dried chili flakes. You can also use a uh, chopped red chilies. One tablespoon of lime or lemon juice. Two tablespoons of vinegar. I am using white vinegar, and two tablespoons of soya sauce. spoons of water so this will thin out the sauce adding 2 teaspoons of honey for the sweetness one eighth teaspoon of salt so this dipping sauce will be thinner and uh, it gives a great taste and punch with the spring rolls mix it well and sweet sour and spicy dipping sauce is ready next is to prepare the veggies here i have taken three different colored bell peppers yellow green and red carrots and cucumber so these are uh, sliced long and thin usually in vietnamese spring rolls you can use the veggies as it is the fresh uh, veggies but i like to have uh, and even my family like to have pickled veggies so to make the pickled veggie the uh, veggies has to be dipped in a liquid mixture containing 1 to 2 tablespoons of lime or lemon juice 2 tablespoons of vinegar and half teaspoon of salt whisk it well and then dip each sliced uh, ve- uh, vegetables in this liquid mixture separately and keep it aside 
can also use uh, white cabbage purple cabbage lettuce and some fresh herbs as well like mint leaves or coriander leaves or fresh basil so you can just play around with different kinds of uh, these veggies and the fresh herbs so here i've dipped uh, cucumber and all the three bell peppers so i'm not uh, dipping the carrots i'm using carrots as it is so this is the rice vermicelli which is typically used in vietnamese uh, spring rolls how to cook the rice vermicelli so also known as thin noodles boil some water in a saucepan turn off the heat add the vermicelli and let it sit in hot water for 5 to 10 minutes once the vermicelli has softened drain and rinse under cold water i'm also using some paneer cubes so these are shallow fried uh, in few teaspoons of uh, ghee or clarified butter so instead of paneer you can also use tofu now assembling the spring rolls so this paper sheets are must so these are vietnam rice paper sheets or wrapper so which is around 22 centimeter large circular sheets lukewarm water to wet the sheets so dip the each sheet in lukewarm water and moisten the entire surface for few seconds Place the moistened sheet on a wooden chopping board or any wooden work surface. Place the pickled veggies one by one close to the lower edge of the sheet. If you are using the lettuce, you can place the lettuce first. And then on the top you can uh, arrange the veggies then keep the cooked noodles on top of the veggies arrange the shallow fried paneer cubes near to the top edge of the sheet grab the lower edge and gently roll the paper sheet once you reach near the paneer cubes fold in the sides and then continue rolling up all the way to the top end showing the second one so you need to dip these sheets in a lukewarm water so that it gets moistened and make sure to use a wooden work surface so that uh, the sheets won't stick to the surface Grabbing the edges of the moistened sheet, you need to be very gentle and make sure to wrap it tightly. Serve these refreshing, healthy spring rolls with the prepared dipping sauces. Try this recipe and let me know your feedback in the comment section below. If you do like my recipes, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.